Hello and thank you for watching. This is STSC back again with LEGO Transformers Doughboy. This build was originally just going to be a biplane transformer, but eventually during the build process I realized I just wasn't going to be able to get a chunky enough robot mode out of such a small plane. So I decided to make him a World War I themed duocon. So let's take a closer look at the individual components. Starting with the smaller of the two, the tank. This build was based off the Renault, a small French tank used during World War I. Ever since I first learned of the Renault, it's always been one of my favorite tanks. Just how tiny it is, it's really charming. And in this case, it just made the most sense, since any other tank would probably be pretty large next to a biplane. On the real tank, the treads have a sloped shape. Unfortunately, due to the technique I've used, the treads are kind of locked into this straight shape here. The same one I've used on a lot of other builds. But I have these wedge plates here to kind of represent the shape they're supposed to be. So it's not perfect, but I think it gets the look across. The rear end of the tank is also extra bulky to account for the robot mass. Unlike the tank, the plane is not based off any specific vehicle, and is just based off my loose idea of what biplanes are supposed to look like. And here's how it looks from behind. I've represented the landing gear with a pair of studs in the front, and a little minifigure bar piece on the back. This view also highlights one thing I'm not particularly happy with about this build, and it's the boat studs used on the undersides of the wing. The rounded shapes just look a little bit awkward, but unfortunately any other solution I think would look too thick. On the front I included a pair of machine guns and a clear plate where the pilot could see through. For a size comparison, here we have a minifigure. And here we have Halberd. That's all there is to say about the alternate modes, so it's time to transform. And here we have Doughboy in his robot mode. And he's got this kind of B-movie monster feel I really enjoy. I can just imagine him walking around a tiny battlefield destroying miniature tanks. Unintentionally, he kind of has a bird feel going on. His arms are kind of wing-like. And turning him around, you can see that the tail of the plane ends up on his butt, kind of like the tail feather of a bird. Looking at his face, I like to imagine the wheels from plane mode as a gas mask. In robot mode, he ends up with a tank turret stomach, which is actually still able to aim, which I think is kind of fun. His feet are maybe a bit plain looking, but I decided to use the ingots just to add a tiny bit of extra texture. For articulation, Doughboy's arms can swing forward like this or back like this to prepare a slap, and they can also swing up and down like this. Then he has a double jointed elbow for reaching forward, and his individual fingers can articulate. At the hips, he has an in and out joint, but it can only really go out about this far, and the leg can swing forward and back. Then at the ankles, he has a double joint, which allows for a decent bit of range, as well as an ankle pivot, which is a little bit tricky to work sometimes, it's very tight, and a toe joint. For size comparison, here we have a minifigure. And here we have Halberd. Doughboy is a weird one for sure, but honestly, unconventional Transformers will always be my favorite to design, so I'm just really happy with how this build turned out. He might look like a bizarre, dumpy, waddling creature, but that's the way I like it. So, I'll see you next time.